Can we lift a voice and sing at the center, at the center of oh, Jesus, we see Jesus, we see Jesus, oh, at the center, at the center of it all.
what even these two will come to pass once again welcome to the broadcast and please don't forget to share and to like and so on and so forth this morning we are praying vulnerable to infection we're praying for everyone that stands on the line of battle in one way or the other this morning we are praying or today today rather we are praying for every single individual that is right now sick of the pandemic or even sick of any other sickness whether in the united states which has the highest numbers in italy in spain in china in um, germany france iran united kingdom switzerland belgium netherlands turkey south korea austria canada portugal and even israel with 18 18 um, um, um with about 18 or so and brazil and australia and norway and so on and so forth first scripture will be exodus 15 26 if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god and will do that which is right in his sight and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of the diseases upon thee which i have brought upon the egyptians for i am the lord that healeth thee notice ladies and gentlemen that it says if you there's a condition given if you will do this and do that and it says keep all of his commandments truth be told ladies and gentlemen god knows himself that no one has the ability to keep all of his commandments as men we have shortcomings we have limitations and we are not perfect so this was what god did he realized that none can keep all the statutes so you know what god did god had to send his only begotten son 
And in Matthew 5, 7, Jesus was speaking, 17 rather, Matthew 5, 17, Jesus was speaking, he says, think not that I'm come to break the law. I haven't come to break the law, but I've come to fulfill it. What was he saying? He was saying, God realizes that he gave all the statutes and the commandments, but he knows that nobody has the ability on earth. Then, now, and in the future, to keep all the commandments, because man is man. Man will always make mistakes and fail. So, Jesus came to fulfill. He came to fulfill so that all of us can be qualified to inherit or to be a part partakers of the healing covenant. It is to that end that the Bible says, for he was wounded for our transgressions, was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes were healed. God realized that none of us can keep all the statutes, all the judgments, all the precepts, and all the commandments to Jesus are to come in its place. And this is the reason why I want you to know that as we pray for healing for individuals, for nations, for families, for everyone in the quarantine center, we come with confidence and boldness, knowing that surely he has borne our griefs. He has carried our sorrows. And even though we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted, he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we have been healed. By his stripes we have been healed. The scripture said in Matthew 8, and verse 16 to 17, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. He cast out the devils with his word. That's exactly what we're going to be doing this morning. Just casting out coronavirus, just rebuking it, just coming against it with the word. And he healed all that were sick, so that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses and peter was expatiating on this in first peter 2 24 when he says who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed you will notice isaiah speaking in the old covenant said by whose stripes we are healed. But guess what? When Peter was speaking in the new covenant, he said, by whose stripes we were healed. So understand that the healing has been fully paid for. We only walk into it in time. We only walk into it. And how do we do that? The Bible says concerning Jesus in Matthew 8 and he cast out the spirits with his word. This morning we stand in faith in the name that is above every other name we cast out in United States, in Italy, in Spain, in Germany, in China, in France, in Iran, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Belgium, Netherlands, Turkey, South Korea, Austria, Canada, Portugal, in Brazil, in Australia, in Sweden, Czech Republic, Ireland, Japan, Malaysia, Denmark, Chile, in Romania, in Poland, literally, literally all the nations of the world. Right here in Nigeria, Father, we stand in faith upon that name that fully fulfilled the law. Nobody else could fulfill the law except him. He came in, went through all the trials and temptations, tempted in all points like as we are, yet without sin. He said boldly, the prince of this world cometh unto me, and he found nothing in me. And having fulfilled all the righteous demands of justice, he went and was, he was beaten with stripes 39 stripes 40 save one and we are told by medical science every category of meds of sicknesses and diseases falls into 39 this morning in that name that fully paid price for sin we stand already infected we cast you out from the high profile the low profile the middle profile individuals from every individual all over the places we cast you out of the three thousand and 170 people in America you've infected. We cast you out of the 11,591 in Italy, the 7,716 in Spain, the 3,305 in China. We cast you out of the 646 in France, the 3,000 
and 25 in France, sorry, and the, the 2,757 in Ireland. We cast you out of the 125 in Nigeria. We cast you out. We reject you. We command you to let go. We cast you out. We reject you. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And in the name that is above every other name, we pray for the healing of every individual, every soul, every man, every woman, every child that is infected by coronavirus. We cast you out. We cast you out. We cast you out. We rebuke coronavirus from Nigeria From every state in Nigeria that has been infected Lagos State, the Federal Capital Territory In, 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 in Cross River State Every state that has been infected In Enugu State, we cast you out We cast you out, we cast you out We rebuke you, spirit of coronavirus Go, 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 go. We reject you in every state of the federation where you've been diagnosed in Ogun State, in Oyo State, in every state, in Lagos State, in Enugu State, Namonde Geshila, in Prandebokosa, in Edo State. We rebuke you, we reject you, we renounce you, we command the healing of God right now. Let the Son of Righteousness arise all over the nations, all over the states, all over the people, all over the centers of quarantine. Let the Son of Righteousness arise. With healing upon his wings, 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 let the son of righteousness arise with healing upon his wings in the name of Jesus. And Tabaraka Shopre de Gazilibonde, Rentele Baba Baba Koshekete, Ikande Boroko Si Prodico Siande, and Prende Casila Boschita, Ibare de Cos, Ebrio Second de Shatila Bari, Ikrende Gazili Boroko Secete, Rambo Bobo Kosheke de Riande, Ipriande Casoro Bobo Kosheke Lebra, Grande Cosi. Crande Cosia, Iprian de Casita Libarita Suprande, and the Baracosiki Yaboro Cosiki Leboria, Irian de Bobobo Cosante Le Bababa, Ranto Papaya, I credecade, I credecade, Rando Boco Secade, a preca di Cosi and the Rebobobo Cosata, a bracazaca de Leboro Cosi Predegade, a recado Michoia Bariante, Brende Cosia, Bosica Telebaria, and Pegale Bosico Lobo, a predecoselebon de Lebo, I Predegade, a Shana Baraya. Father, we command healing. We command healings. We command healings. We command healings. We command healings. We pray that the recovery rate will right now spike up. Recovery rate spike up in the United States, in Italy, in Spain. In, in Germany, in France, in Ireland, in Nigeria, in the UK. Let recovery rates now spike up. Now spike up until every patient is discharged from the hospital. Let the recovery rates now spike up. Now spike up. Let it spike up right now. Let it spike up right now. Let it spike up right now. Let the recovery rate spike up. Antaboko Sheketele Barade, Bangredo Kosi Kotosh Kande Brada, Iapraka Dabaka Sopala Nega Shekelebro, and Prende Goziki de Bori and the Shatele. Baritas, Bruca Zenge de Leboco Seketelebo, I can de Bobo 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 Bobo, Escambrenea, Yambreke Zukoske, Pekele Broki Sope, Eprios Ketebush Kadalibra, Mascabra, Discotea, and Prende Cosico, Shitalabia, Apriando Saka, Bredel Say, Mos Catala, Mos Catala. Let the recovery rate spike up in Nigeria and let there be no more infections. Let there be no more infections. We command infections to cease. As men began to observe the stay at home uh, 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 order, as men begin to stay at home and observe all the rules and the regulations, we speak, we declare, let the infections stop. No more infections, not in the US, in, in the US, in Iran, in Spain, in Italy, in Nigeria, in Germany, in Japan, in China, in all of other places. Let the infections stop. We declare no more spread. What we want to see go up from now on, our recoveries 
and discharges, recoveries and discharges. More people in their hundreds, in their thousands are recovering and they are being discharged. They are recovering, they are being discharged. They are recovering and they are being discharged. They are recovering all over the places, all over the centers of quarantine. Men are recovering, men are being discharged. Men are recovering, men are being discharged. In the name of Jesus. And the will you lift up your hands as we just take this worship together and after now we're going to be back again and we're going to do more prayers we're going to pray and pray and keep praying until we see every single soul in Nigeria all over Africa and in all the other places of the world fully discharged in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. I am the your healer. I am the Lord. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Your healer. And I sent my word. I sent my word. And he your disease I am the Lord your right where you are lift your voice say you are the Lord you are the Lord that he let me that he let me you are the Lord Wow. 
That is who you are. You are a way maker. You are a miracle worker. You are a promise keeper. You are the light that shines in the darkness. We worship you and we thank you because the light of your healing is already shining upon the nations of the world. Shining in every quarantine center. Shining in every home, every family. Listening to this broadcast. Bringing divine security, divine immunity, divine protection over every individual, over every family, over every home, over every marriage. We stand to declare that you are the way maker in the midst of this plague, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this affliction that is that is literally making the whole world grounded. Father, we declare you will make a way. You are the way maker. You are the promise keeper. Your word can fall to the ground. You are the light that shines in the darkness. Father, we thank you because coronavirus will soon be history. Coronavirus will soon be history. Coronavirus will soon be history. Life will return back to normal. Lives and destinies will continue. Nothing whatsoever will truncate your promise. You are a promise keeper. And we thank you because your healing is coming upon the nations and upon the people and upon the families who are listening to this broadcast. In Jesus' most suspicious name we pray. Amen. Just one scripture you know about in Numbers 21 and verse 6 and the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people that beat the people and much of the people of Israel died therefore the people came to Moses and said we have sinned for we have spoken against the Lord and against you and pray unto the Lord that it takes away the serpent from us and Moses prayed for the people sorry I, I will read that one later but let me, there's another, another scripture I wanted to read, not this particular one. So let me, let me stay with the one I want to read now, but I'll get to this one in my closing moments. Number 16, 46 to 48. Number 16, 46 to 48. Moses said unto Aaron, take a censer, put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation. Make an atonement for them, for there is wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. Ladies and gentlemen, the plague has begun. The plague has begun literally in every single nation in the world. I mean, Czech, Czech, Czech Republic. Just think about it. Think about Norway. Think about Sweden. Think about Spain. Think about Italy. Think about Japan. Think about United States. What's the connection? Think about all the many nations. Think about Nigeria. What's our business with coronavirus? Think about, about Ghana. Think about about. Kenya, think about Uganda, think about all the African countries, think about South Africa where the death ratio is terrible. What's our business with the coronavirus? The plague was begun among the people and he put incense and he made atonement for the people. And as Aaron lifted up the incense 
or lifted up the censer containing the incense. And as he stood between the dead and the living, the plague was stayed. The dead were here, the living was here. Aaron stood in their middle. And as he stood in the middle, he was saying, no infection crosses from this place to this place. This morning, we come as the censers of God. We have on our inside the fire of the Holy Spirit. And we lift up this incense of prayer this morning. This morning, we stand between those who have been infected and those who have not been infected. We stand between those who have died and those who have not died. This morning, we stand in our position of authority as the church of the living God. And we declare, the Bible says, as he stood between the dead and the living, the Bible says, and the plague stayed. We declare this pandemic stops. This pandemic stops. Corona, you stop. You shall afflict no more. You shall infect no more. You shall torment no more. We declare that your infection ratio stop. In the name of Jesus, Corona, stop, stop, stop. Stop in the name of Jesus. We stand between the infected and the uninfected. We stand between the dead and the living. We stand this morning in the place of authority between those who have not been infected, between those who have been infected and those who have not been infected and we declare, we declare healing for those who have been infected. We declare a spiking of the healing ratio, of the healing rates of the infected. But we also declare that we draw a line in the realm of the spirit. We draw a, we build a wall in the realm of the spirits and we declare no more transmission from the infected to the uninfected. Whether they are at home, wherever they are hiding, undetected, unknown, right now we declare in the name that is above every other name, no transmission from the infected to the uninfected. We stand between the dead and the living. We stand between the infected and uninfected and we declare coronavirus, you shall infect no more. 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 Nanto bakoshida yande baraka sopra yembreke deko seke de bashuda riando bakosa. We are not here to beg you. We are here to issue authority to you in that name that has been exalted above every other name at the mention of which every name must bow. What are the things in heaven on earth or under the earth? What are the name of coronavirus? Corona! We command you to bow to that name. Bow to that name in the name of Jesus. You shall infect no more. You shall afflict no more. You shall kill no more. You shall destroy no more. You shall take no other nation. Apart from the ones that have been infected, you will spread no further. In Kande Bokosha. Kande Bokoshe. Ne prede kesili borokosada. Rampo kashida ria. Iambreke duzele. Prende goziko shkitata. Branda gazuri akashido. Meriando krande. Meko sata. Shuple kraya. Bereski yanto. Emprindo se. Nefkesko. Pelios kapushka. Datrasio. Meliantra digoska. Nefrende kosi. Esko prende gezea. Emprozevedi. Mosgia. Prande gozeka. We command you will inflict no more. Affect no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nende de kose. Prito se keteya. Ambroko zagadaya. Shule grade kese. Emprendo kosi koshkintaye. Meriendo se. Miko sada da da ha ashada baba baba kose prende gede gede dobro sede ya rionte shali brakete kedo reke sopalingo shikoti palita prende kosi koski tambila bre em prende gede kosi o brios ketete ligoskia in kande baba kose kishali brande gazili boya iya prakashali baba shanta we speak. We speak this morning. You will infect no more. You will afflict no more. You will contaminate no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. We stand between the dead and the living. We stand between the infected and uninfected. And we declare coronavirus stop. No more spiking of the numbers. No more infections. Not in any country. Not in any nation. No more deaths. No more deaths. No more infections. We stand between the dead and the living. In the place of spiritual authority, we declare every household, every individual, every family listening to this broadcast, you are covered. You are protected. The church stands between the dead and the living. We stand between the infected and uninfected. We stand between those who have died and those who are still alive. And we declare in the name of Jesus, there shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. No more infections. No more infections. No more death. We decree this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Nigeria we declare it. In Spain we declare it. In Italy we declare it. In America we declare it. In the United Kingdom we declare it. Switzerland we declare it. Sweden, Japan, in Brazil all over the places we declare no more 
deaths, no more infections, no more deaths. And you calibo shande rababaya, a prende kosili bolo koshita, me prose ne bobo kosheta, prende kosili bori koshito boria, yankra baba kashata labati, ne ketosia, yandere bobo kose, brindo solo bobo koshata, renta ligo rico sito, brindo be kosili bobo koshitoria, kriande boko sata. Ich kann ta briga de so eh prende kosi kol skande ne ne ko celebre ge de bobo bobo sa inshallah baba baba yaka ya raba baba ko shekete le baka in konde brias 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 je brika toli masula i kanda baba 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 shata tali katulubo eh prende kosi kos kente liboria name of jesus christ of nazareth now listen what we're going to do right now i'm going to ask you to us to join me in this confession. We're going to make this confession in faith. We're making it on behalf of ourselves. We're making it on behalf of everyone, every individual, anywhere in the world that is infected. We're making it on behalf of our family. That's why I said, please help me share this. Help me share this. Help me like it. Help me share it. Let it go viral. Let someone who is around you who may be infected tomorrow, who the devil may want to afflict tomorrow, let them partake in this confession. Help me share this video. Let me share it. Let me share it across. Let somebody who would have been infected, let them, let them get their healing. Let something happen to them. Let the power of the Holy Spirit reach out to them right now. As we make this confession, I want you to know, please observe discretion. Play by the rules. Wash your hands regularly. Do not. Do not. Unnecessarily. If you can avoid it, stay away. Keep all the social distances. If, I mean, do the sanitization of your hands. And stay at home. Stay at home. Stay at home. But you know what? You know what? You know what I want you to know? After all said and done, by the power of God, by the covenant of preservation, you will not be infected. You will not be infected. You will not be infected. Let's, let's make this confession together. I'm going to be fast. You're going to say it after me as quickly as you can. And I believe that God will connect with us. The Spirit of God will connect with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you say after me? I fear the Lord. I prolong my days. I keep my heart with all diligence. For out of it flows the issues of life. My desire is only of the Lord and it's a tree of life. I fear the Lord and it's my fountain of life. I have a sound heart and it is the life of my flesh. I have a merry heart and it does good like a medicine. I have a merry heart and it does good like a medicine. My belly is satisfied by the fruit of my mouth. With the increase of my lips, I am filled. Death and life and the power of my tongue. I speak the life giving words of God. I speak the life giving words of God. And I receive life. I receive health in my body. In my body. Jesus Christ has borne my sicknesses and carried my pain. He was stricken. He was smitten of God. He was afflicted for me. He was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement for my peace was upon him. And by his stripes, I am healed. I have been healed. I was healed. And I remain healed. In the name of Jesus. Now, I have perfect health in my body. I have immunity from every infection. Whether coronavirus, Lassa fever, or any other kind of infection or virus. I have immunity from every infection. The will of God is done on earth as it is done in heaven. There's no sickness in heaven. Therefore, I am not sick. I cannot be sick. I shall not be sick. I will not be sick. I will not be infected in the name of Jesus. Jesus was never sick on the earth. Jesus is in me. His life flows in me. As he was in the world, so am I in this world. I am healthy as Jesus was healthy upon the earth. Jesus destroyed the works of the devil which are diseases, viruses, sicknesses, bodily infirmities. Therefore, all the works of the devil upon my body are destroyed, are destroyed, are destroyed. I have perfect health in the name of Jesus. I have perfect health in the name of Jesus. I'm justified by my words. I have the faith of Jesus Christ in me. For Jesus is in me. He is the author, is the finisher of my faith. I speak unto the mountains of sickness and diseases and they bow and they obey my words and they leave. I have authority and power over all infections, over viruses, over sicknesses, over diseases. I command them to leave 
and they obey my words. I lay my hands on the sick and they recover. I believe in God and all his promises. And all things are possible unto me. All the promises of God are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Because Christ has paid the price for every single one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe those things that I say shall come to pass. All things which I desire when I pray. I believe I've received them and I have them. Whatsoever I ask in the name of Jesus, Jesus himself does it. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. When I ask for anything in the name of Jesus, Jesus says, I will, he will do it. Therefore, this morning, I declare, the Father loves Jesus and gives him all that he has. In the same way, the Father loves me as much as he loves Jesus and he gives me everything I ask. All authority in heaven and in the earth has been given to Jesus Christ. I have faith in the power and in the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And through that name, I declare, I am immune. I am protected. I am defended from coronavirus, from any infection, from sicknesses, from diseases, from plagues, from infirmities. I am perfectly protected and immune in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me. And he who raised Christ from the dead also quickens and gives life to my mortal body. Through his Spirit that now dwells in me. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. I declare I am healed. For with my heart, I believe unto righteousness. With my mouth, confession is made unto healing, unto health, unto deliverance, unto protection, unto salvation. My health springs forth and the glory of the Lord is revealed in me. The Lord brings me health and brings me cure and brings me protection from coronavirus and reveals unto me the abundance of peace and the abundance of truth. I sow to the Spirit and I reap of the Spirit life everlasting, eternal life, life everlasting. I sow words of health and words of healing every single day and I reap health in my physical body. I reap preservation, protection, immunity in my physical body. Jesus has destroyed Satan and spoiled all principalities and powers and they no longer have any power in me. In the name of Jesus, I have power over them, over all the works of sickness, all the works of disease. The word is near unto me, even in my heart and in my mouth. That is the word of faith which I now speak. It is the will of God that I should prosper and be in health, be in perfect health, even as my soul prospereth. This morning, or today, rather, I declare my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. All the fullness of God dwells in me. I glorify God in my body and in my spirit, which are God's. Let's take this final, just one worship song. And as we take this song, I'm going to come back and we do the final declarations and prayer over you and your life can never, ever, ever, ever be the same again. Come by hands as we just give him worship in the next one minute.
as we come to the closing moments of this broadcast let me quickly once again kindly ask you to please share the video and like the page and join us this time tomorrow because we are still praying we are fasting and we are trusting God that even this too shall come to pass in Numbers 21 beginning from verse 6 down was the story of how Israel spoke against Moses God's servant God became angry and sent fiery serpents to bite them and kill them to end that affliction the Bible said God instructed Moses to lift up a serpent made of bronze on a pole anybody who looks up to that serpent the person lived just looking up to the serpent life came back to them and they lived but you will notice that over the years what was supposed to be a mere symbol turned around to become an idol in 2nd Kings chapter 18 from verse 3 to 4 Ezekiel had become king one of the first things Ezekiel did was Ezekiel destroyed that bronze that brazen serpent that serpent on a bronze why because the children of Israel are taking it from a symbol they are taking it from a symbol they are taking it now into an idol they call it a particular name Nehushtan Nehushtan meaning meaning a mere brass a mere brass and they had begun to worship it and it was destroyed ladies and gentlemen if you fast forward to the New Testament in John 3, 14, 15, and Jesus was, and the Bible says, Jesus was speaking and said, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this as we come into the closing moments of this broadcast. This whole thing began with God. God was the one that healed them. God said, I want a symbol, the brazen serpent. But you know what? Over time, they despise God. They kick God aside and then they put in the place of God the brazen serpent. Their faith now became in the brazen serpent. And guess what? So when Ezekiah the king, 25-year-old king, rose up, he destroyed it so that men can take away their eyes from medicine. By the way, that brazen serpent on a pole is the symbol of medicine, of modern medicine. But listen to this. Over the years, we have taken our faith from God. Even the doctors will tell you, we can only care, only God heals. But over time, we've taken our faith away from God. Now we have put it in men. We have put it in a bronze. We have put it in Nehushtan. Nehushtan means a mere bronze. A mere bronze. And that's what we put our faith on. But thank God today, all over the world, the doctors are buying down. All of them are crying. All of them are calling upon God. We've destroyed the brazen serpent. The Bible says that whosoever... As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so was the Son of Man lifted up. As Jesus was lifted up on the cross, it was like the brazen serpent lifted up. That whosoever will believe in him. This morning we take our faith and our confidence from science and technology and medicine and all the things that men have done. We lift it on, we give it unto God. The God who is able to heal. And it's on that note this morning that I want you to lift up your two hands. As we say, Father, we take our eyes from men. We take it from everything we put it on you. For the first time in the history of the world, ABC television brought T.D. Jake's life to make a prayer on live television. Never happened before. And waiting for CNN to do their own. They have to humble themselves and obey God. And call a preacher to come and pray on CNN. That's where nobody has ever prayed before. This morning I declare in the name of Jesus, as every knee bows, as every eye is lifted up, as we destroy Nehushtan, as we take away our eyes from Nehushtan, from mere men, from mere doctors and mere nurses, we are doing their best and we celebrate them and all their efforts. But Lord, we take our faith from men. We remove it from Nehushtan. We put it on the God of heaven, the one who is really the real healer, the one who is our deliverer. We ask, oh God, let the vaccine come. 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 Lord, as we take our confidence away from science and men, we ask now, release the recipe. Release the recipe. Release the recipe. Let the vaccine be discovered. Father, let it not exceed this week. Let it not exceed. And this weekend, let the vaccine, let the good news of the vaccine be announced between now and this weekend. Let the vaccine be announced. Lord, we've, 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 we've destroyed Nehushtan. We are no longer looking up to Nehushtan. We look up to Jesus. The Bible says, whosoever 
will look, will believe in him, that person will be saved. We look up to you, O oh God, creator of the universe, the one who commanded in the first place for the brazen serpent to be made. We do not replace you with anything. We don't replace you with medicine. We, we do, we, nothing else can take your place in our lives. And as we all, as a nation, as people, as, as a continent, as humanity, as we all call upon you this morning, we ask, Lord, take your place. Release the vaccine. Release the vaccine. Release the solution. We command an end to the pandemic called coronavirus. We command you die in the name of Jesus. We command you die. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Join me as we all recite together Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It makes me to lie down in green pastures. It leads me beside the still waters. It restores my soul. It leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For that with me, thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, God's goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift his countenance over you. May the Lord protect you from coronavirus. And may the Lord grant you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Do rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Join me this time. Same time tomorrow. Please join me as we run with this broadcast. Your life, your family will never be the same. In Jesus' name. I love you very much and God bless you.